glad to hear you're feeling better, first of all. Thank you. Um, I do want to ask about the statuses of Ruby and Christian. We saw them go down on Saturday. Do you have any update on either of them? Uh, Rudy hopefully should be back uh, next week and uh, Christian is going to be a bit longer so we don't know yet but uh, uh, we'll see the next few weeks. And do you have clarification on what kind of injuries uh, each of them sustained? Legs. Legs, both legs. <coughs> and uh, the, jo uh, the Jones red card, are, is the team planning to appeal that or anything? We want you to do it and uh, obviously Le, um, it was difficult. Like, as you know, at the, um, I watched the game at home. I was sick. But after the game, I was more sick. <laughs> <laughs> because um, we can debate, we can debate. But you know, the, the way... If we do an action, every kind of action, and we pause all kind of action when we make a fall, a foul, we're going to debate. We're going to debate all the time because your sensitivity, your, the way you see football, the way you, if you play or not, if you have played or not, there is many things. And uh, when I saw that, it's a foul, yes, but this is a football, football foul. Or soccer foul, but to to understand that, we we have to get this sensitivity about the game. So yes, we discussed yesterday, but uh, we decided to uh, to don't do it because uh, we knew that we will have less 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 chance to win. So that's why we didn't do it. Now, I want to kind of ask you, kind of spoke about it already, but how difficult was that during that game? And those moments like the, the Jones, the Jones uh, red card, and just towards the end of the game, giving up the two goals, how hard was it to be sitting there at home watching and not being able to communicate? And yes, you have trust in your coaching staff, but still, like, there's nothing that you can do to help. I will not talk about me. I'm going to share with you a story. I have uh, friends like uh, everyone all over the world and um, I can tell you that uh, each continent, can I say that? Because I have friends over there, they reach me and they destroy the league. They destroy the competition. They destroy who, uh, where I'm, I work and I'm pleased to work for this league. They said this is not possible to have something like that. The pitch, it's a turf. This is really bad for the league, knowing that what we want to do, I have nothing against Charlotte, nothing against the league. It's a fact, it's factual. Turf pitch, we start the game. I started to play football <coughs> around 10 years old. I started my first game around 17 years old and I started to coach around 23 years old and I really started to coach at 28 years old and now 46 years old. I never seen that, the two kick off. Never. So I got destroyed by friends, colleagues and so on because I, I promote MLS. Because I try to fight against, you know, sometimes people that don't know enough. I mean, as I think that we still play like uh, we, we, we used to play 20 years ago. So, but I watched the game and we lost many people because the game was, I have no words for that. You know, I like to break uh, many records. It's good for our egos and so on. But to break the record that the longest first half ever, wow. So I have no word for that. I am, in terms of emotion, I, can, I cannot tell you that I am upset or, or frustrating or so on. At the end of the day, it happens. And we don't deserve to lose this game. Because the way we played, the way my player played, 
they fought, they, we played with 10 men, uh, many situations happen. At the end of the game, we conceded two, two goals, but for me, this is not a loss, but this is really bad for the league. And I know that we, uh, the league has a, a, a lot of uh, expectation for the future, and they're going to reach it because they are really good to put certain things in place. But uh, it's been it's been bad, really, really bad. So, yeah. And what do you say to your team? When you do return after a game like that, you watched it. What, what are the first things you're saying to your team? No, listen. I told them that uh, my son told me that I was more calm on the uh, on the pitch <laughs> because I was yelling uh, like crazy at home. But uh, no, I told them that they did a good uh, a good game. And uh, again, you know me. Le, le, I know that uh, don't misunderstand me. Also, I'm not here to blame the referee. Because they did what they could do. So the level is going is more is more the intensity is, is uh, higher. Everything is higher. So to do your job, you got diploma. So you've been in many experience at this level. So if you don't have these, those, this kind of experience, it's going to be difficult. So for me, why I'm going to talk about what happened with, the, with my team about the last game? They know that. They were already sad, they were already frustrating, a lot of emotions and so on. So no, go back to what we did well. Le, go back to, yes, we know that we had an issue with uh, uh, the referee and also the, 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 the way everything happened. But at the end of the day, my job is to take what we did well and to improve what we need to improve and to move forward. Thank you. Coach, when, <clears throat> when talking with your staff about the appeal for the red card, um, is that more, was that more of the possible risk of losing the challenge um, yes. and whatnot? Yes. This is not with my staff. This is uh, with the front office. This is exactly that. Because, yes, we can do it, but the season is young, so pros and cons. So we need players <laughs> because we had two injury players, but uh, but yeah, we decided that. Besides the, you know, what silver lining you took from your side of of the of the, of the game, what else can you take from that game that you liked? Uh, Kwame said that he really liked the togetherness of the, of the game. What else can you take from that game that you saw was positive besides all of the conversation? I liked everything, to be honest with you, because, again, there are players, but there are also human beings. And the brain, the little voice was, what is going on? What is going on? We are not able to, we, they, they were not able to control this. The, the decision of everything. So they stay focused on the game. And that's why with all these kind of emotion, my players were able to stay on the task and to do a good game with 10 players. And we were close to score the goal. We didn't do it. And we were close, close also to, 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 to finish the game in a better way. That's why I was a bit Sad for them because the goal that we conceded first, uh, uh, the last five minutes, the clearance could have been maybe better, something like that. But this is details. Yes, I didn't forget that they missed also a big chance. But this is football. But for me, they did a really, really good game, knowing that they stick to the way we play. But what I mean by the way we play is not only with the ball or without the ball. This is the attitude. And for me, this is a game that I can keep in my pocket to help them when they're going to get difficult moments to be able to go back with that and uh, they did it. Thanks, Coach. Coach, thanks for being here. Um, a lot of people would consider this game a, a one-off, an anomaly mm -hmm. in, in a way. Is it easier for coaching staff to get past it or is it easier for players to get past it? It's all about, again, personality of people. For me, 
and move forward because I am like this. For the player, it's been more difficult because uh, the, 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 the emotion was, were really high and, uh, and they are young, so they don't know really all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. But Monday was tough, but uh, yesterday they moved forward and, uh, and we are good with that. The Athletic is a magazine published here, or it's online in the United States. They do a survey of MLS executives every year. Mm -hmm. It's anonymous, so these execs can say whatever they want. Uh, results of this year's survey are out. The executives were asked which team will finish in the Supporter Shield race first. Columbus overwhelmingly picked to finish first. One executive saying they're not concerned about your Champions Cup fixtures because, quote, for me, they're Columbus is a rarity in MLS because of the way they play. It's not as exhaustive as other systems. <laughs> it looks easy. How much of a compliment is that to you and your team? Oh, it's, it's, um, I'm proud of that. I'm going to be honest with you because this is, um, this is true. But this is complex and this is difficult. And that's why I try to, um, not I try, but Nowadays, there is a lot of data. You know, we talk about data. Data you can be data driven, data driven, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, for me, this is really important. But at the same time, when we're gonna have data for the brain, I'm gonna use a lot the data. Mm -hmm. But for me, the data this is an addition of the context of the situation. And for me, this example, for me, I like it because, yes, it's, it's a fact that with the data, we have how many runs, acceleration, deceleration, and so on, and so on, and so on. But the style of play or the momentum of the game, this is something that we cannot quantify. So there is tool for that. So for me, the best example was the, the, the game against uh, Houston, the second leg, when, the, when we played the second game, because we played many games, but we were able to play with the rhythm of the game. And the fact that we play with the rhythm of the game, my players were making runs, but emotionally was more it was less difficult that if this is a ping pong game and the, the game is high in terms of intensity, but all the time. So that's why I was really pleased uh, when we played against New York Red Bull, because for me, it was a really good exercise to see if we are able to play with this rhythm again against a team that we know that they are really high in terms of intensity. So for me, everything is, is connected. That's why we have many debates with my staff and with, my, with Jules, the fitness guy, and all the data uh, people that we work with, because context. So sometimes we kill the play, we pause, we pause, 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 just to breathe because we need to restart an action in a better way. And yes, we can attack, 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 attack all the way. But sometimes we need also to kill the tempo of the game to be able to breathe and to rest and to repeat again when we can do it. That's why the second year, this is an evolution of what we want to do. We did it last year a bit. Sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it will not work, but it's true that this is what you said. This is something that I'm really pleased because we, it's a day to day work. We work every day with this kind of a mentality, yes. In that same survey, two thirds of the executives called you the top coach in the league. <laughs> uh, I know you have a lot of colleagues in the league. Uh, what does that mean to you? I'm going I'm to lie if, I'm, if I, I'm telling you that, okay, nothing. No. I want to be good, like everyone. When we do something, we want to be good. We want to excel. We want to, to we seek for excellence. So after that, what is the definition of excellence? It's all about 
individual people. So for me, I try to do my my best every day. I try to become a better me every time. Um, so this kind of uh, uh, what you said, I'm pleased for that, and I'm grateful also. After that, uh, I, I, in my life, I have um, I had many episodes. So. Uh, like I told you, I like to say that uh, I like to embrace and to to recognize the present moment. This is good for me. This is also I have my staff behind me, I have the organization, I have my family also behind me to be to let me do uh, what I love. So listen, maybe uh, in two months they're gonna say that uh, I'm gonna be the the worst one. So I don't know. <laughs> Everything is is going so fast, but uh, I'm pleased with that for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, how pleased were you to see the team, the, your players, keep their composure, you know, with everything that happened, especially in the first half against Charlotte? You know, we've seen you know, throughout all major league sports when games like, you know, what happened over the weekend, you know, the teams crumble. Mm. How pleased were you with the composure of the players? Really pleased, really proud of that because they have grown a lot. Last year, same period. <laughs> it was not the same, but it's normal because again, uh, it takes time to put something in place. But just to 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 to, to be clear, also, uh, 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 um, emotions are really important. And I cannot accept that someone say to a, a, a player, "You have to play with no emotion." No, no, emotions. It's part of who we are. So my job with the staff and, and, and everyone is to help the player to control what they can control. And it's a day-to-day -day work also. So that's why I can see that with this type of event that we had recently, they were able to get better. But sometimes it could be good also to, <laughs> to lose it. <laughs> because I, I don't want you to put me in the case that, OK, Wilfred Nancy is the guy that he has to be all the time composed. No, no, sometimes. I am a human being. Sometimes it could happen two or three times per year that uh, the room is uh, is divested. So it's, it's just to be clear with that. Yes, for me it's important because I believe that if we use the emotion that we have individually, it could be good to perform. But sometimes it's difficult. But I was pleased for that. Yes, for sure. And you've talked about battling adversity. The team, you know, seemed like it was battling two, two opponents all over the weekend. <laughs> With how, you know, fighting to the end like they did, what, I should say, how, how does that make you feel, though, as the coach and everything that you've done and you've taught and given the players the tools to be able to handle that adversity the way they did and still still remain in, in great sportsmanship? Mm -hmm. No, again, it's a day-to-day -day work. And also what I like is uh, my job is also, like I told you, to empower people. And now they are able to recognize that. What I love, I really enjoy, I didn't see it. But after that, when I discussed with my staff and the player, players, a few players told me that, that when we conceded the goal, uh, 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 they, get, they got together to, to, to keep going. Uh, and this is. Everybody can do that, don't get me wrong. It's normal kind of to do that. But with all the circumstances that we had, uh, this is something that it's a signal, sign that we are going in, in the right direction. But we lost. So it's, be it's good, it's better. But now that's why for me, and I'm going to give you this answer. Do we focus on results or do we focus on performance? So, and this is always the debate bet between all these kind of situations. Because yes, it was a loss. I'm going to take many, many, many good things about this, but we lost. So that's why all the time it's all about balance. Balance about what we do, the way we see things, and the way we approach things. But um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm for the moment, I'm really pleased about everything, the way we approach things, the way we are embrace the adversity. 
but again, it's, uh, the season is young, and uh, and and we'll see uh, in the future how everything's gonna be. But uh, we are on the right track. And you talked about you wanting the players to be limitless, mm -hmm. and you know you got the two injuries, the red card, and then it's the next man up mentality. Mm -hmm. How much of that goes hand in hand with players being limitless? Uh, this is connected because again. Uh, you know the 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 what your colleague told me about uh, I am apparently a good coach, but to be a good coach is my players. Without my players, I cannot be a good coach, or I cannot express exactly what I want. So for me to create this link is again the day-to-day -day work, and so this is also trust, and this is also challenge, support, and so on. So they know that this is the mentality that I want, but also they have also to believe on it. And to believe on it is what we do on the pitch. This is the discussion. This is also fact. This is also many things. So this is the way we build the team. This is the way we see things. And this is the way I want to see my team and my players. That's why profile are really important about what we want to do. Thanks, 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 Thanks,